What is up from Beyond the Swamp? My name is Creeper, a member of your Freight Supremacy Security Forces. Back with another quick video with a little bit of news and what you come here for, guns. This time we're doing practical accuracy, and as you saw in the last video, I did American Service Weapon and Sidearm. So let's get on with a little bit of news. I've decided to make things just a little bit more realistic for me. I'm going to throw reloads into my range videos. Now, this does come with certain caveats, as I cannot do this with pistols, as I would violate the range uh, safety rules, because I would have to point the pistol in an unsafe direction. And you guys know me as well. I love my AKs. One small problem, doing the cheeky breaky reload isn't going to be an option on the range, because... I don't want to send my $30 mag flying down range. The one that fell on the floor, well, don't worry, that's a pro mag, and, well, if you know guns, you know pro mag, and, well, that speaks for itself. Anyway, moving on. What will happen is my cameraman is going to load my mags for me ahead of time, so I will have no foreknowledge of how many rounds are in what mag or what status my gun other than safe conditions, for obvious reasons, will be in. So I may have to rack around in the chamber, or it's ready to go. I will expend the mag ammo in the magazine and do a reload in the safest way possible, because we are here about safety and education. All that aside, let's get into the American service sidearms. And we're going to start off with the M9. Granted, this is actually an Italian 92S. S is for the type of mag release that's on the heel, because, well, European guns. And as I've stated many times, very big in mag retention, so my hand has to be down there and catch the mag when I eject it. 15 round magazines. Looks like your standard 92F magazines, except for that little cutout in the heel there, which is, well, of course, what retains it. 9mm, 15 rounds. 4.25 inch barrel, heavily borrowed from the Walter P38 for the design of the locking lugs and the mechanism. Very generous opening for any sort of malfunction you have to get your fingers in there, get it, that problem out, and get back in the fight. Fantastic service firearm. Why, it's been our service firearm since 1985, replacing, well, the two world wars, 1911. And for the American service rifle, this is a civilian copy of the M16A4. Granted, I believe we're up to the A6 right now. 20-inch barrel. This is actually a Stagnado heavy barrel. Chrome line with a 1 in 7 twist to accommodate stabilization for the M855 ball round, the green tip penetrators that you know and love, and in most cases, looking at you, Zach, hate. 30 round standard magazines, I don't have one in there at the direct moment. Standard charging handle, no frills, get work done gun. I do have the full stock on there as is indicative of the service rifle. Have a detachable carry handle and a millet scope on top to replicate an SPR or special purpose rifle. This will reach out and touch someone at 600 meters with no problem. Fantastic gun. Now, moving on into the point where you, the Whale Gang, will decide what I shoot next in the next range video. Now, this is going to come with a certain caveat. As I've gotten out of the sequence of which I normally like to do these videos, where I'll do a presentation first, then the range video, the next range video, or excuse me, the next video will be another presentation video, but I will be shooting that range video soon, and I'll throw a little extra something in there just to make it up to you guys. Also on that tidbit, there's a gun show tomorrow, so who knows? Something new might be showing up. So, our choices for tonight. If Ghastly Dual Wielder, whoever's taking care of it this evening, you'd be out of some kind up in this corner. I have two choices for you. Russian guns, which will be a service rifle and handgun, or German guns. Yet again, service rifle or, and handgun. Now, here's the fun part. I'm not telling you what time period it's coming from. It could be Cold War, 
could be World War II, could be modern age, could even be before that. But go ahead and vote. As always, stuff that ballot box with krill and bits because that helps ghastly out. And until then, you guys, stay safe out there.